Good afternoon, Sarah. We're actually at a lovely house in, uh, near the city of Lusar. We are. We're just six minutes into Lusar, but we're in a very nice countryside location. So you've got the best of both worlds. The sun has eventually come out and it's stonkingly hot. We have a lovely three bedroom, three bathroom property here. It's all very well sort of self-contained um, and very nicely done with a very nice layout. The bedrooms, as I'll show you, um, it's, it's different, nice open plan and modern. So obviously you have the driveway for the car here going into double garage. No, it's a single garage. Sorry, single garage goes straight out to the back. But we're going to walk through the single entrance here. The privacy here, from the inside, you can see over the top. Um, but it's very nice. You have this area, the front area. I guess so they can sit out the front here and feel like they're in their own private garden with the trees there giving them the privacy. Well, they will be in their own private garden. Well, <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> um, we have this area here, which is nicely planted, but low maintenance. You've got the bark there. And yeah, the mulch, you mean. Keeping all the weeds at bay. Yeah, it's all very, very low maintenance, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I keep falling over. No, right. I, I actually love it. It's just <laughs> my idea of heaven. And then under here, it's very shady. And we've got a nice breeze coming up here, which is a relief at the moment. And here at the moment, this area beyond here, which leads round to the back of the property to the pool, it's fenced off, which is brilliant if you've got dogs, which many foreigners coming have dogs. Um, but also this area here, maybe if you just glance up there, you could if you wanted to put that to the grass, if you want a vegetable patch and what have yeah. you, you could easily take these tiles up and you put a path in and then use this area. I think it's in the shade a lot of the time though, so... No, but that's not necessarily... I don't think no, people no, go without them here. Yeah, yeah, they're that's more of a problem with having been getting scorched. Yeah. So, um, we go in? We shall. Lovely wide entrance hall, which I always personally appreciate. I think I must close the door to keep the heat out. It's very nice and cool in here. High ceilings and wide spaces. Again, lovely big wide entrance at all. It flows through here to the hub where we have large lounge on the left, obviously the stairs in front, a bathroom there, and then to the right there is the smaller of the bedrooms or study as it's used at the moment. Where are we going first? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, I meant to turn the telly off. Okay, so that's good. I've got to tell you about Sarah's dress today, actually. That, her mother made that a very long time ago. And she, she's <laughs> wearing it. I'm, I'm true British today, yes. Yeah. I've decided I'm going to start wearing my mother's clothes. Um, okay, we've got a gardening program on to try and avoid that. But obviously, you've got a really nice big space here. Yeah. Large, large okay. lounge. And we have a wood burning fire here. And they also have central heating, which is. Pellet run. Pellet run, yeah. Yeah. And this is a lovely big space. No, it's very, very nice. It's, it's nice detailing. Yeah. Well, it's all down to decoration, but there's palmets. They're called palmets. Uh, clothing. There we go. Let's call it that one. And coming through here. I'll just go into the kitchen last because we'll go out to the pool. Yeah. But maybe you better just go in the bathroom, otherwise, we're getting a pickle. But. Very, yeah, very modern. Simply done, yeah. modern, nice, traditional, yeah. blue and white, large shower. Yeah, really nice size shower cubicles, actually. Yeah. And then here, I mean, it was obviously it was designed to be a bedroom because you have the built in wardrobes. Yeah, it's a double, it's a double bedroom. Yeah. It's the smallest of the double bedrooms in the house. Upstairs, but it's, they're enormous, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So they help for you, they use as an office. Um, and you have plenty of light, which goes out to the pool and the area down there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the pool in a minute. Yeah, bit. we'll do that in a minute, I think. Too. Well, should we do that now? We'll go through the kitchen. We can. So, it's a lovely sense of space because this is really big. 
Yeah. We always have our, with our little disagreement, Paul always thinks hallways are a way to spell his relationship. <laughs> so, stylish, but simply done, black and white kitchen, always appealing. Oh, I've just noticed a couple of lizards for the lamps. <laughs> <laughs> just for a little squeak. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there we go, yeah. So you've got everything you need in here. There's an awful lot of storage, actually. There's tons of storage, tons of workspace. Tons of storage and tons yeah. of workspace, absolutely. Yeah, and this kind of central, I mean, it's not a central island of stuff, but I mean, it's, it's a permanent structure and fantastic for eating around, isn't it? It's, it's comfortable for six. Why are you saying it's not an island? Well, because it doesn't have facilities, does it? You know, it's, Oh, I see what you mean. It's okay. More, it's more it's stuff. Table, then, an it has doorways underneath. It's an island. It's an island. It's, it's, a, it's an island come it's table. It's right, it's we'll squabble about we'll, it. We'll, we'll call it an island. So, so shall yeah, I? I just want to get around the. Yeah, okay. You know, probably around the kitchen. I can see space for a big American fridge. Uh, loads of oven, storage. Yeah, electric oven, microwave, and the hob, which. My beast is an induction hot bar. Yeah, that's definitely not gas. Yeah, so I mean, there's tons of uh, tons of room, tons of storage. Really nice, very modern, as you can it's see. It's just classic see. style, isn't it? Black and white. Isn't yeah, it? there is um, a washing machine there. It was originally plumbed for a dishwasher, but of course, it's plumbed for a dishwasher. It works for a washing machine as well. Um, but they like washing, make a pair washing up to this washer. There is another washing machine which we'll show you <laughs> in a minute. You're not selling washing machines, I don't know. No. Right. So, it's, I mean, it's a sort of compact property, but very, very nice and very private. Yeah, it is really private. So, I don't know how, but Paul is particularly inviting at this moment, seeing as it's <laughs> rather warm. I know. I was desperate to get in it. But this is great because. Obviously, you've got the walled in here, and there's no point pretending that the greenhouse isn't there. But what it makes you feel is, is just that you're in a little enclosed. Um, no, it just has privacy. Yeah, exactly. You and know. what it is, just to clarify, it, it is. Um, it's a nursery. It's a nursery, yeah. but it's not open for the public. So yeah. they produce here and go out to all, all other gardens local and shops. And shops. So you haven't got people coming and going. Yeah. Um, this is a lovely big shade area. Obviously, I imagine they probably spend quite a lot of time out here. Oh, I would. Yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely. And yeah, you've got your like shower that. there. Yeah. Watch your step. Yeah, really, really well, nicely laid out. And yeah, well it's, done. it is very nicely isn't laid out. Oh, uh, should we have? So that must be yeah. gas bottles just behind. Get the problem there, Mister. Mm -hmm. Get the barbecue in. Yeah. And. Around. And yeah, those green doors there, those will be for the gas bottle storage, as yeah. Sarah yeah. rightly assumed. And you notice you're not going to have a problem with the... Um, Water. Sorry, only it's just like skipped past, trying to be <laughs> hidden, made me laugh. Um, no, because you've got the guttering and the drainage sorted out, so there's a quite you've got drainage here, drainage there, drainage over there. So you're not going to have a problem with rainwater, no. really lit at all. No. Oh, gosh, it's nice in here. Yeah, sure. a garage. Yeah, I mean, if you're in England, we say it's going on about the guttering and all the rest of it. Of course, if you're in the UK or the US or the Northern Europe, it's, it's completely granted. normal. But unfortunately, it's not here. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's an adequately sized, um, yeah, single car garage, isn't it? Sir? Yeah. Well, you get here, you get, they hang a chain from the top balcony, a big chain that just goes down to the floor so that the water all follows the chain and then the water just all goes to one spot. Oh, excellent. Which is a, very different way of dealing with it, yeah. but yeah. so anyway, garage obviously used for storage and as a workshop here. And there's the other washing machine I mentioned. Ah, right, yes, yeah, he's obsessed. So you <laughs> obsessed at all? Just if you want a dishwasher, you can have a dishwasher and a washing machine just in the garage. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go in then. You don't know, exactly. call that an obsession, though. Okay, so here's the. Uh, Oh, obviously we have to put the little room. Well, I was thinking, you, you could turn it into a sauna, wouldn't you? I mean, it's, it's got glass doors and it's enclosed. It might as well be a sauna. You could actually make it a sauna. <laughs> so there's your pellet burner. Yeah. 
Uh, there's a few tracks of pellets left there that are next winter, obviously it's not going to be used Actually, for some no. months now. Sorry, I was just going to say, it would also make a really nice sort of nursery for the winter if you oh, like growing yeah. plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also you stick an aircon unit in it and it would be an office. Yeah. Quite a nice bit here just looking out of the pool. So, should we pop back in and go upstairs? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, which door did we come out of? This one. Oh, maybe while you're down here. Yeah. <laughs> um, you should go back that way. I just left the gate open. And just to see, and actually to see the arched windows on the house. A nice, nice details with the sort of the round lintels there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know, but I just turned around and had a camera right <laughs> Yeah, no, actually they're really, no, and they do the add something to the property. They do. Yeah. Yeah, that's all very nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is the area Sarah mentioned at the beginning of the video, and you could yeah. actually turn... You could easily have yeah. two and a half metres. there if you wanted to, couldn't yeah. you? And just keep a path along the side here. Best to keep it and just get yeah. pop plants. <laughs> Can't get in. It's the wrong door. Oh, that'll be why. <laughs> okay, so back in the kitchen. Oh, Lovely bit of wall space, which I might have mentioned I particularly like. And then we're going upstairs. I particularly like the railings, all the details. That's very usable. And again, a nice big space here. Now, both bedrooms are really quite lovely layout. And I'll go, I think we're going to the black and white room first. Oh, this is great. I mean, it's a great size landing, isn't it? Yeah, it's wide, spacious. Yeah. It, just, it does add something to a property. And so here, big room, big room, lots of space, lovely decor. Uh, we have a balcony here, which looks down over the pool. And you can see, well, we can see a rubber, rubber ducky, I think it's a frog actually. <laughs> but there's a, there's a lovely breeze here, which apparently there normally is. We've just been speaking to yeah, you. Every house goes. In, yeah. Yep. And as you look along here, you can just see every house has the same private garden area. This makes sure it's completely private. Yeah. And there is no noise coming from there. I can just see lots of buckets of pine cones. Yeah, yeah. And if you were to turn around, you can see the view. Because we really are sort of just at the end end of the road. It's very yeah. nice countryside. Yeah. And there can never be another house built on on there, that's for sure. No, the so it is the end of the uh, yeah. uh, far-reaching view. So I imagine that's the Lusar Mountain that's over there. Quite possibly. I'm not going to start guessing, I think. Right, so if you come back in... She made me jump off that once. Oh, is that, is that, is that where you jumped off? Yeah. That was, that was a good birthday, a Christmas Paradise present, was it? Yeah. You? Paradise. Matt, Paradise. That was a random Christmas present for three of you or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so black and white bathroom. Uh, nice bath. Plenty of space. Yeah, really nice. Full, full size bath. And of course here you have your built-in wardrobe. And this is the smaller wardrobe in the other bedroom is much bigger. But I mean, this is plenty. You've also got, just to mention it, um, there is heating everywhere, but there's a towel rail there. Yeah. And then through this cupboard, which looks like it's just going to be storage, fork and duck, you have what they... <laughs> you can come in, you know. No, I want to get keep that crouching. Yeah. Okay. I'll go up here and not hit my head. So, obviously, they've got two single beds in here. Obviously, got a family with children. It's perfect. Yeah, Large the, the grandchildren room. stay here when they come. On, yeah. en suite couple of kids sorted or you could turn this into an office area yeah because it would make quite a nice office as well yeah, because it just tucked away yeah, yeah the top of the house and yeah. we've got these nice archway windows which you mentioned before yeah now okay can you get out without hitting your head it's really quite nice sort of artwork and stuff this is the around the house mm. isn't it? I've tons of it yeah yeah mm. probably doesn't come with the house at all. 
Right. But uh, yeah, big wardrobes. I'm trying not to be <laughs> hectic in this stuff. Yeah, tearing in it. Right, there you go. Right, yeah, loads of storage again. Yeah. Out you go then, sir. Through to the next room, which I'd say is the master, master on suite. Both rooms are really good sizes. Yeah. Oh, isn't that it's nice? It's a nice, very nice little square, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And here we've got an area that's it's just there, really. Because you don't need it, you've got a wardrobe and ensuite through there. So it's just a spacious um you would oh, what would you call it? Your dressing dressing table. In the old days you'd have yeah. a three way mirror and you'd have all your little drawers and everything there. Yeah. Most houses don't have space for them, but you could have that. Uh, before we before we go out there, Sarah, I'm gonna Oh right, okay. I should go through because this is a great feature. Yeah. I think it's a great feature. Yeah. Again, it's uh, going in? yeah, a nice archway. Come in. So you've got four huge That's what I mean about yeah. much bigger space. I can just hide in the cell here. Yeah. Okay. And then you Beautiful can go through. Room. And it's got a lovely, lovely bathroom yeah. with a big again. Wash <laughs> basin, thank you. Um, no, not a wash basin, it's a big shower cubicle is what I was actually talking about. That shower there, we've actually ordered from very similar. We've been waiting for it to be delivered for five days and we can't find that place. <laughs> I don't sorry. know why you're telling me this. Come out to the bathroom. Because it's annoying me. I need to, I need to get it out. Right, yeah, out. Okay. So, but the bathroom, with the tiles there, I know he's left now, but they're grey tiles, a really nice stone effect. So, huge. En suite, really nice space. Oh, and am I allowed to go out to the yes. opening now? Yeah. So here, again, we're in the shade. The house has got lots of shade actually. It's yeah. quite well designed in, in the afternoon here. Uh, we've got the views, and as you turn around, you'll just see that we have the mountains and the trees and it's just very nice and actually you can get a good shot of the garden there in the front just below you. Yeah, I will do it in a sec. I'm just yeah, going to get fine. all the way around here because it is a really lovely area. I guess that's probably part of the nursery over there as well with the netting. Well, oh right, okay. Yeah. Anyway, you can just about hear people talking underneath and the cork oaks in front of us. So it's very private and peaceful. It's just a very, yeah, dead red, isn't yeah. it? So, shall we summarise while we're here? I think, I think, I think you might as well. Yeah, so what we have is a three bedroom, three bathroom property, very much in the countryside, very, very peaceful, but literally six minutes from Lusa, which has all your available amenities. Yeah. And, um, Coimbra, well, have a look at the yeah. price. Yeah, Coimbra is very close as well. Yes, this is true, this is true. Yeah. So location-wise, it's really quite, really good. You can just pop into the city if you want to, or just go to your local town for shopping very easily. Also, yeah. restaurants and bars are available if that's what you want to do. Yeah, well, Lusar's a, um, a big town in itself, isn't it? I mean, it's got everything there. It's got uh, yeah, a yeah, big all your, all, all your needs, yes. The furniture shops, I mean, it's got, it's got a huge furniture shop on the roundabout, hasn't it? So it has oh, got I'm blank on that detail, but I'm just going to nod. Yeah, no, no. Anyway. Just, also just down the road is Miranda de Corval, which yeah. is another big town. Um, fantastic wildlife park there, where you can go and see all sorts of... Oh animals. yeah, there's a, there's a big thing. Yeah, yeah, a big thing. There's um, it's even got a cricket club. Just, just thought I'd, I'd get that in. I'll put a plug for the cricket. Are you going to say Coimbra Knights? Yeah, co well, I've got Coimbra Knights and Miranda Dragons. Okay. Um, yeah, both play at, okay. at the ground. But, so, that's yeah. Porto for the weekend. If you're into cricket, you know where to come. Yeah. Okay, so have a look at the price. It's a great price, great location. Very nicely self contained, low maintenance property with really good spaces, plus a pool. So. Great for a rental, family home, permanent home, whatever you want to do with it, it suits all things. So, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.